Thank you very much. The question for either yourself, Ms. Franco, or Mrs. Lincoln, the <coughs> excuse me, earlier statement in respect of document in relation to Shaw would not be in amongst the documents which was which were returned. Are you making reference to what is noted as item 10 as displayed on the screen, or are you referring to another document? Your microphone may be off, madam. Oh, it's on. Oh. And please identify yourself before you speak. I identify myself as Cecilia Lynn Hollis Can, and I am the daughter of Margaret Genevieve Anastasia Hollis and the granddaughter of Charlotte Wellman Me Saunders. I can only go by my experience back in the day, if I put it that way, I was a youngster. And as a result, I, my mom was a very busy lady and I was an only daughter at that time, only living daughter. And so she took me everywhere. And if anyone knows, at that time you were seen and not heard. But I do remember being in law firm offices and hearing my mother plead for the rest of her uh, papers, documents, documents that she had given to the law firms. And I promised to tell the truth, so I can only tell it as I knew it to be. And I even questioned, if I might go on for just a short period, I even questioned my mother at one time I said, Mom, you've gone to so many law firms and they're all saying that it's a conflict of interest. They can't do anything. You, you know, why don't you give up on this? And I know a lawyer, Mr. Bernard, lawyer Bernard, said to me, don't ever doubt your mother. And I leave it at that. So whether it was these papers or not, but I also do know that I overheard a conversation with land owners in Shaw Park that said that they had to pay twice to get the clear title of their land. Council, I stay with this. You muted. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, could you share with us, Mrs. Lynn Hollis Khan, what, what, what? Even though we have not been told <coughs> who the persons are, excuse me, who said that, mm -hmm. what is the significance you? add to that point could you share with us in respect of having to pay twice I, i'm not understanding um okay i'll go back and say uh in order for those persons who were living at shore park in that at that time um it was my understanding as a young person and I was in my late teens, that, in fact, I was older than that. I was in my 20s. I, I go back to that. That they did not, at that point, have a clear title deed to the properties that they were residing upon. And it wasn't until the, they got the uh, original deeds that they were able to get a clear title to their property. 
that to me says that what we have been researching, and I was with my mom doing a lot of researching as well. She did a lot of this herself. That they uh, who was residing at the property only got their clear title deed upon the lawyers that kept the documents required to attain that. Thank you, Ms. Chan. Counsel, if I may, and Chair, um, if we could pause for just one moment, we need to move a call, I believe it's... Good. Chairman, I was going to ask at this time that we take a 10-minute break. There is a matter that the Secretary needs to attend to. I just ask that we take a 10-minute break at this time. Oh, yes, Counsel.